Querying your metrics is similar as querying your logs. Let me start with the finished product first. This dashboard is showing me panels that give me an overview of my host metrics. I can see my CPU host metrics, my memory metrics, my disk metrics, all the way down to my TCP and my network metrics. In addition to putting together this overview dashboard, I can put together specific dashboards for CPU, for memory, and disk space. I have here an example of my CPU for host metrics, where I can see total system CPU user time, I can see kernel time, and perhaps I want to see system load average for the last minute, five minutes, 15 minutes, my IO wait time, and you get the point. I can put together panels that show me the detail that I want to specify. Good thing about dashboards, as you are well aware, is you can always go to the query behind them. So in this case, if I click on that dashboard, on that panel, I can go and see and find out the dashboard and the query that is behind it. Let's take a peek at this one, total system CPU user time. Let's look at the syntax that we use here to put it together. It's saying source category equals star metric star, which means give me all source categories that have the word metrics in it, and also specifically choose the metric called CPU underscore user. You notice that I have quite a few metrics in here. As a matter of fact, I'm even getting a message saying that it's displaying only 50 or 52 matches because there are many metrics that actually meet this criteria. If I want this to do this a little bit better, perhaps what I can do is I can look for the specific source host that I care for. Let's go over to the legend so you can understand a little more the tags that come with each of the metrics. If I click on legend, I can see all the different lines represented in my graph above, but on top of that, I can see the time series. This is showing me that this particular light blue line is going for the metric CPU user, but for the source category host metrics dev machine. Down here, I have the exact same metric CPU user, but in this particular case, it's for source category host metrics app server. You can expand it so you can understand a little more information. In this case, the one that I'm highlighting right now is, is my source host, if you notice, Mario Mac for source host category host metrics app server and metric CPU user. So you can get a lot more detail about what each one of these lines happens to be. Let's go back to the query and let's do this. Why don't we find specifically, um, let's turn this one off and why don't we find the one that is for my particular environment. So I'm going to choose source category equals metrics, metric equals CPU user, but in my case I'm going to add a source host. And I'm going to be looking for source host equals Mario-Mac. This should give me only the, um, the CPU user for my particular source host. And you notice that I disabled A. But let's do this. What if I want to compare my source host to the average of all other hosts? I can easily do that by turning this on and adding in here the word AVG for average. This is one of the operators that I have. And now, as simple as that, I have a view of the average, which is shown in here in the dark blue, against my value that is shown up here. Great. Let's open a new tab and let me show you another example, starting from scratch. You notice that the autocomplete helps me as I'm going through and trying to identify things like source category or my metrics themselves. So let's go to my specific source category and let's choose a brand new metric. As a matter of fact, why don't we choose all CPU metrics so that you can see that all my data is in here. If I go to the graph, I see that this is my CPU idle. I can see my CPU user, the CPU system, and so on. Speaking of CPU system, let's grab that one. Let's take CPU system and plot that value out there. Now, if you remember, this is CPU system only for my source category. So I'm seeing that value in there. What if I wanted to compare this, let's say, against my memory used and find my correlation? I'm just going to cheat here and copy and paste so I don't have to type it again. Choose metric. And in this case, I'm going to choose memory used. Excellent. Let's plot those numbers and find out how they compare. So if you look at this graph, my CPU system and my memory used are very far from each other and hard to correlate. The reason for that is because they're both using the same axis, which is almost impossible to compare. So let's do this. 
Let's go and click on this guy here so that we can use a secondary axis for that, for one of them. And in this case, perhaps I even want to change the line type. Instead of using um, that line, I might also want to make it a little more visible. And there you go. Now I can see a correlation between my CPU system metric and my memory used metric. Now if I wanted to label these axes, it's as simple as going into the Y axis and giving them a name. My primary axis is my CPU system, so I'm going to call it CPU sys, and my secondary axis is my memory used. So I can give them some meaningful names. The graph is now looking a lot better than it did before. I can go back to legend, still see what are the numbers. Again, remember, I can always click on time series to see the detail for each one of those, and I can see the queries that I ran for them. In this third example, I'm going to be looking for a metric, and I'm going to compare it against itself, but in a different time frame. So I'm going to use the metric, let's say, CPU idle, and I'm going to plot that. And CPU idle, for my last 15 minutes, looks something like this. I'm going to take this exact same query, but in this case, I am going to add a time shift, a time shift of, let's say, 15 minutes. And what I'm seeing in just a second here is a comparison of my current CPU idle metric against the time shifted CPU idle metric of 15 minutes. And I can compare what is happening now versus what happened 15 minutes ago. Great. This has given you some great examples on how to start querying your data, which is the basis for creating a panel, which you will eventually place on a dashboard.